Bougie Light Style. Bougie Life Style. Oh crap! It's Bougie Lifestyle. Collection, baby. It's Bougie Lifestyle. That's what we reppin', baby. This Bougie Lifestyle is for all my sexy ladies. It's Bougie Lifestyle, period. No questions, baby. It's Bougie Lifestyle. Collection, baby. It's Bougie Lifestyle. That's what we reppin', baby. This Bougie Lifestyle is for all my sexy ladies. It's Bougie Lifestyle, period. No questions, baby. It's Bougie Lifestyle. The Bougie way or no way. Oh, crap! is queen bougie and if you guys don't know me i am the owner and ceo of bougie lifestyle collection and i'm coming here today to show you guys how to make a wig and please excuse that hole underneath my arm you guys it was late at night i was supposed to be asleep but i'm sitting here recording this video for you so today we are using three bundles and body wave inches 20 22 and 24 and a 5 by 5 20 inch closure from our princess collection all of the details in the description will be in the description box below if you ladies want to shop but we have our three bundles here and look at that bounce they are just beautiful and then also I'm going to show you the five by five closure that we are going to be using today And let's just take it out of the net, you guys. I forgot the net was on it, so just please excuse me. As I said, it was late at night, and yeah, I was tired, so just excuse me. And that's HD lace, baby, and that's just period. Okay, so Bougie Crew, what you're going to need is you're going to need a wig head, a wig stand. And this wig head I am using is 23 inch. You're also going to need a wig cap. And this is the wig cap that I love to use. I don't use any other kind, but this one, the stretch is amazing. And then you're also going to need your T-pins and your needles. Okay, so what I am going to do is open the wig cap now. And excuse me, I almost tried to throw it away, but... <laughs> we got it so what I like to do is I like to take the wig cap out and stretch it on both sides just to see which side would give me the most stretch and then I place it on the wig head All right, so now I'm about to place the closure on the wig head. Well, I wanted to see, I didn't know if I wanted to do a side part or a middle part, so that's what, you're, what I'm showing you now. I'm not, I wasn't for sure, but I just decided to do a side part. So you will see me go ahead and place the five by five closure on the wig hair where I want it to sit. All right, bougie crew i do apologize i thought i recorded the part with me placing the closure on the wig head and using the t-pins and showing you how i place it correctly i thought i recorded it but i did not i thought my camera was recording but it actually stopped telling me my phone was going dead so i do apologize about that but what i am doing is just um starting the sewing process so what i do is i put the needle and thread through the closure and then i do that again but the second time when i put it through the closure i do go ahead and tie a knot just to keep it secure and so that it doesn't move or anything of that nature and also i do apologize again you guys i really thought that you could <laughs> see me um see what i was actually doing but you actually cannot but later on i will show you exactly what i am doing so do not fret you guys so i like to start from the middle of either a closure or a frontal it really doesn't even matter i start from the middle and work my way around the sides and then what i do is i go ahead and cut the knee i cut the needle and thread when i do get to the other side and start a new needle and thread process for the other side i don't use the same needle and 
the same needle and thread around the whole closure or around the whole frontal. But that is why I'm showing you now just how I sew on the closure onto the wig. Wig head. Sorry about that, you guys. And please, you guys, make sure that it is tight because you do not want it to slip or anything of that nature when you're trying to comb your hair or anything. You don't want it to slip. So please make sure that you are pulling the needle and thread very tightly. And excuse me, guys, if you hear anything in the background, I am standing outside while I am doing this voiceover. But hopefully you guys can hear me very well. And I just take my time doing this, you guys. I take my time with the whole wig, but I take my time placing the closure properly. Um, if the closure is not placed properly and it is not flat, then the wig will look a hot mess and you will have to start all over. Just an FYI. All right, so as you see me, I am going on to the other side and just doing what I told you guys that I would be doing, just sewing it the regular way. Now, I do, as I am sewing, I do like to tie a couple of knots along the way, and that is just to secure what you are doing. Now, you don't have to do this, but it's just something that I do because I am extra in OCD, and I like for everything to be perfect and for nothing to move. So that is what I am doing here. As you can see, I just tied a knot there. I don't know why I legit thought that you guys can see everything that I'm doing with the closure. But I did and I was just continuously going. And my B. Simone voice, of course. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm at the point where I am about to cut the needle and thread. So this is what the closure looks like after everything has been sewn down. And as you can see, it is flat, honey. If you have a bumpy wig, what are you doing? <laughs> but that is exactly what it looks like after I am done. So I just unraveled the first bundle, which is the 24 inch bundle. I just unraveled that. Now in the back, well with my first bundle, I like to double side it. And basically what that is, is fold the wefts over, leave it exactly how you see it now and start to sew the process. I like to do that for the first bundle, just because I like the back of my wigs to be very thick. I don't like thin wigs, honey. So that is what you see me doing. So what I first do is I take a T-pin and put it through the weft and place it on the wig where I want it to be. And the reason for me doing that is when I try to sew the first bundle on, it gives me a hard time. The bundles and the tracks tend to slide down and go everywhere and it just makes it an easier process for me when I do it this way for the first bundle anyway. It just makes it easier. Now, this is not something that you guys have to do. You can sew your first bundle the way that you want to, but this is just something that I like to do just to make my process easier. Okay. And what I do is I stick the needle through the weft, as you're about to see me doing. Well, right now you're seeing me tie the end of the thread, but... Okay, now what you're about to see me doing, <laughs> sorry about that. Now what you're about to see me doing is I put the needle through the whiff first. And as you can see, I am taking my time. The reason why I take, I do take the slowest time when I am around the band. I don't know if that is the part of the wig that you would call it but around the band I do take my time when doing that because if you put it through the actual if you put the needle through the actual band then the wig would not stretch and that would not be good so what you're seeing me do now as I stated is I put the needle through the weft first and then I go underneath the tracks 
and put it through the wig cap and then I tie a knot and I do that with all of the when I first put the bundles on, I do put it through the weft first and then I start to go underneath it. I do make sure I tie a knot after I put it through the weft just so it doesn't slip or move or anything of that nature while I am trying to sew the tracks down. I hope you guys can see what I am doing. If you cannot see what I am doing, let me know in the comments below and I will make another tutorial video on how to make a wig but I would do it a little bit closer. And as I said it before, you guys, please make sure you are pulling the thread as tight as it will let you go. If not, well, everybody doesn't do this, but if not, I, I have saw that after a couple of months of wearing a wig, the tracks do tend to slip. Um, or it depends on how much you comb it or where it, what have you. It does tend to get a little loose. So I like to make sure that I am pulling the thread really tight. As I stated, I also tie knots throughout as I am going. You do not have to do this, you guys, as I stated to you before, but I just like to do it just to make everything nice and tight and secure. I also like to do my needle and thread closely together. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but I like to do my stitching kind of close together. That also, in my mind, means that it's more secure. I'm not for sure if that is 100% correct, but in my mind, it works. And I just do that all the way around until I reach the other T-pin, and then I am going to show you guys what I do next. Now what I am doing is just finishing off the piece of bundle that I was already doing. Now as I guys as I told you guys before, when I like to start a new needle and thread or a new bundle, I do put the needle and thread through the weft. And then the second time I put the needle through, I do go underneath the bundles. I'm not for sure if you can see that. And then I tie a knot just to secure that thread that I am putting on there now since I changed out the needle and thread. And that is just to, to make everything very secure, you guys. I'm all about security when it comes to wigs because I like to wear my wigs faithfully. All right, so what I did is I did go ahead and fold the bundles over. I tied a knot through the first needle and thread that I put through it. And then I am also pulling it through now and making it really tight. As you can see, I am making sure that it is really secure. As I stated, while you are on the band part, you guys, please make sure that you are not putting the needle directly through the entire band. What you're going to do is there is a mesh part where the band is. You put it through the top of the mesh part, not through the entire band, you guys. As I stated to you before, if you do this, your wig will not stretch. So if you have a bigger head circumference, 
and you're putting it through the wef the wig cap is not going to stretch and it is going to be too small for your head and you're going to be a little upset because you just constructed an entire wig but now you have to redo it and don't forget you guys to like comment and subscribe and click that notification bell so you can get notifications for when i do upload a new video i don't know how i forgot to say that in the beginning but you guys just bear with me as i told you i am new to this youtube thing but just bear with me but don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also click that notification bell and i and as always bougie babes it's the bougie way or no way okay So I am getting closer to where I am about to fold over the bundle. So what you're going to see is me tie a knot. And then you are going to see me tie another knot. As I stated, you guys, I am all about security and another one again. <laughs> I'm all about security when it comes to wigs, you guys. So I try to make sure everything is nice and perfect for myself when I wear them for myself as well as when I ship them out to customers. So I make sure everything is perfect. And what you are about to see me do here now is fold over the wefts again. And you're going to see me put the needle and thread um, through the web more than one time. As I stated, I like everything to lay flat and I don't like a bumpy wig. I don't like lumpy wigs. I do not like any of that, you guys. So you are going to see me make sure everything is nice and flat and laid down so the wig will look nice and flat and lay down. All right, you guys, so I have shown you the process of putting the first bundle on, what you do to fold it over, as well as place it on there. Make sure everything is nice and flat, you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next slide. So what I like to do when I finish each bundle is I like to comb through the bundles. Um, and basically what I'm trying to do is when you put the needle and thread through the bundles in the wig cap or underneath the bundles and then through the whip, wig cap, there is some hairs um, from the bundle that does get stuck within the needle or bunched up or just look like stray hairs So what I like to do is just through each bundle I like to comb it down to make sure everything is nice and flat. So when I do try to Comb through it or anyone tries to comb through it. It will go directly through and then it would not get caught So as I stated, I only like to double the webs for the first bundle. So what you're seeing me do is put the second bundle on and this is just a single web. It's not double over, which means I unraveled it fully. As I stated to you before, I am putting the needle and thread through the track and pulling it through. And then for the second one, I am going to go underneath the track and I am going to tie a knot. Alright you guys, so we are getting to the end of this needle and thread. Well, well, I like to stop with the needle and thread. So you are going to see me continuously tie knots until I am not able to tie any knots anymore. And then I am going to cut the thread. And start off with a new needle, of course. Make sure you get as close as possible to the knot that you originally tied in a thread. Make sure you get as close as possible to the knot when you cut it. But just make sure you do not cut the knot, please, because then you will have to redo the whole process because it is going to come loose. And again, you guys, you see me put the needle through one time. Then on the second time that you see me put the needle through, I do tie a knot. I am going to continue to stress this to you guys because that's just what I love to do. It just makes sure that everything is nice and secure and everything of that nature. I know I'm, I keep saying that, but seriously, guys. Please just listen to that part if you don't listen to anything at all, okay?
all right you guys so we are done with the second bundle you guys and so again i am combing through it just to make sure i am catching all the stray hairs and the little hairs that got caught when you pulled the needle and thread through the bundles And to let you guys know before I forget, when I do get to the top, I do not like to fold the bundles over. I do like to cut each track as I get to the front of the wig cap. So that is what you're seeing me do now. As you can see, I did not fold that last track over. I did cut it and started a new. And when I do that, um, just like the first bundle that I put on, I do like to put the T-pin right there just to hold it in place and make it easier for me because if you try to put the single track on there or the track on the wig cap without securing it before it does tend to move from the spot that you want it to be in so I just like to put this T-pin there just to secure it so it doesn't move as I am sewing the tracks down. As you can see, that track is directly at the beginning of the wig cap and it did not move or anything of that nature when I was sewing it down. So now I am just going to finish the sewing process. And the process of cutting each single weft as I get to the end of the wig cap, I am going to continue to that until the, fin the end of the wig, basically. I'm not going to fold the tracks over anymore or anything of that nature. I am going to continuously do it the way that I am doing it now. And the reason why I am doing that is because, as I told you guys before, um, I like my wigs to be very flat. So folding it over when it gets to the top tends to make that not happen. So that is the end of the second bundle, you guys. I am about to finish sewing that down, but that is the end of the second bundle. As you can see, this wig is already nice and full and full of life, honey. Oh, I told you I don't like thin wigs. I just absolutely hate when I can see straight through someone's wig straight to their shirt. It really annoys me. Alright you guys, so this is what the wig looks like after it has been fully constructed. Um, this is before I pluck or bleach the knots or do anything of that nature. And I do apologize you guys, I was supposed to get the ending process of me making the wig, but I just did not record it. I just finished the wig and here you go. But that is all you guys. This is the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click that notification bell so you can get notifications for when I do upload a new video. And as always, bougie babes, it is the bougie way or no way. See you next time.